Hi, my name is Zach, and here on Bite Size Engineering, I make ridiculous project videos to get you excited about making things and unleashing your inner maker. I've spent the last couple weeks learning how to make PCB art, and in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is. I've been designing PCBs professionally and as a hobbyist for over 10 years. But up until recently, every single PCB that I designed was just purely for function. There was no form to it. There's a channel here on YouTube that I've been watching for years and years. It's called I Like to Make Stuff. I've learned so much from Bob Claggett and his team over the years that I thought it would be fun to make a whole set of these with their faces on them. Their team has been getting into board games and they recently created a board game table, so I thought it might be fun to send them these little tokens and challenge them to design a board game where these would be the game pieces. To make PCB art, we're obviously gonna need some PCB design software. And in this video, I'm gonna be using an open source option called KiCad. The reason I like KiCad is because it has built-in tools to convert bitmap images into PCB layers. The first step is to choose the image you're going to convert into a PCB. I would recommend starting with a profile picture or something similar to that. The various layers on a PCB give me a color palette of four colors I can use to recreate any image. With the software, I separate all of the darkest parts of the image from the midtones and the highlights, and I separate those into different layers of the PCB. Then I use the PCB tool to combine them all into a circuit board. I finished making boards for each member of the I Like To Make Stuff team, but I feel like there's still something missing. If you've watched I Like To Make Stuff, you'll know that they love Star Wars, especially Bob Claggett. Is Star Wars the one with the little wizard boy? So I've designed some Star Wars boards for them to enjoy. Then we export those layer files and send them to the manufacturer. Uh, looks like Zach made us printed circuit boards with our faces on them, so printed circuit board parts. Ooh, those are cool looking. There's some of us. Oh, there's a, like a bag. For there's, each a bag. There's, there's a Megan bag. Yeah. So these are Except the big printed for circuit Barbie. boards. Got... Definitely taking one of them yeah, R2 ones. R2 ones. That's cool. Shirt. Thanks, Zach. Thanks. That's really cool. There's you, Megan. I was about to open Megan. Thanks, Zach. The boards you see here are just barely scratching the surface of what's possible with PCB art. I've made a second video here that dives deeper into this topic. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial showing you exactly how to create your own PCB art. Here's an example of PCB art that's both artistic and functional. It's a ruler made by DigiKey who is the sponsor of this video. They've included all of the different common sizes for footprints for different parts, and they even have a little table of useful information. It's like a nerdy version of Where's Waldo for electrical engineers. 